Have you ever woke up in the morning Without a place to lay your head The streets instead of a school playground Why is that is UTX on Team Rush and you know I'm giving you that first blood like I do. Why is that give <laughs> Anyway, I'm running a regular TDM on Bacara and I want to talk a little bit of uh about this class. About the whole class because this is gonna be like one of my default type classes. You know what I'm saying? Like once I unlock my custom classes and I get everything that I need to set this up, this is gonna be the class that I'm gonna be going to. It's gonna be the go-to class for me. And right here, I should have just jumped down. I killed too many guys in that area to stay going the same direction. I should have just switched direction. That's something that me as a rusher should have known, you know? Change the direction. But I just uh, I treated that like free for and just kept going forward. But, um, yeah, you know, this class for me is just, it works perfect. The MP7 is my gun and my awareness sucks. I, I thought I was getting shot from the bottom. I didn't think this guy was sitting in the corner there that's not even really there. <laughs> it's like no corner there. It's no, there's no coverage there. He was just there and I ran past him. It's, uh, ah, that happens to me a lot in this game. But the MP7 and, you know, we, we could argue this back and forth. But this is the gun that works for me, especially in the long range. The iron sights are just great. Um, I'm loving using it with the rapid fire and the silencer. It works so well. It works really good for me. And I'm enjoying that. Um, Slider Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and uh, Stalker Pro for me just wins you so many gunfights because obviously you want to reload fast. That's one. And I'm coming in the doorway. So back up off me. <laughs> but, you know, you obviously want to reload fast. Uh, I don't know what Slider Hand I think Slider Hand lets you pick up guns faster. Or oh, I don't know if that's Quick Draw Pro. But either way. And then the quick draw lets you pick your gun up faster and the stalker helps you strafe <clears throat> helps you strafe quicker. So to me it just helps you win so many gunfights. Uh the steady aim is great, but I just noticed that I do a lot better when I go to this class. I I do really, really good. So I'm enjoying this class. This is gonna be one of my default classes. I don't know why I jumped out the window. That wasn't even a smart move. <laughs> but you know, I'm enjoying that. Uh as far as running it with the specialist. I feel like, especially this, you, you could run it with Hardline and switch out the Quick Draw and maybe just put the Quick Draw in there for, uh, put the Quick Draw in there as one of the, like, perks that you unlock. But that's, oh, give me that Mayweather 2 piece real quick. But that's the, that's the beauty about Specialist. You could run it however you feel best suits you and it's going to help you work your way to that 8th kill and unlocking the, unlocking the Specialist bonus. That's what I love about it, you know? It's just like kill streaks. It works the same way. It's just, you know, whatever's gonna help you get to that next kill streak, just do your setup however you feel is best for you. So I, I really can't just tell you guys, look, you should run this and you should do that. The only thing I could say is use Hardline because it'll help you unlock them quicker. It works really good, um, especially when you put Assassin as the first one, but that's not how I run it. The way I've been doing the whole Hardline thing, uh, the whole hardline specialist that's what i like to call it hardline specialist because um the way i've been doing that one is extreme conditioning hardline obviously and steady aim so i can get that beginning rush in the beginning of the game and then now i'm behind them and look at this i'll let you guys watch the kill cam oh aggravating he's aggravating I'm doing a lot better with that, and I'm not letting it get to me. I'm just trying to take it easy, like Jay and Blaze said. You just, I'm running around just a little too recklessly, and you see that's the corner where the guy was before. There's really no corner there. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, like um, so the extreme conditioning and the steady aim, it lets me just get in there and get that beginning rush, and it, it gets, it lets me pick up that quick next perk or maybe the next two perks. Because a lot of times I find myself getting like two or three kills in the beginning of the match really fast off of rush. And it works out great. So, you know, from there, that's the only tip.
tip that I can give you guys that'll probably help uh, help you to get your specialist pro quicker or just you know something that if you want to rush and you want to and that's another thing you know rushing in this game is so much fun only because the way they and this map right here has to be one of my favorites I don't know how everybody feels about this map but this has to be one of my favorite maps only because if you saw in the beginning how I just ran straight down the street I ran straight down the street and I had multiple routes to take I could have took any route I could have gone left right but I know that everybody likes to go to the right side they like to go behind the chopper and then that building there that that basically goes from one end to the other so I took advantage of that and it worked out for me and I, I'm glad it did you know I ha had a really good game this one this time around so you know that's what I'm loving about these maps because I can do that on a lot of maps arcading is like that arcading if you run straight down the middle by where the um, courtyard is, like the, the tail of the, the helicopter, if you run straight through there, you got three routes that you can rush through. Pick one, because they're going to be coming through there. As a matter of fact, you got four. I'm sorry. There's four routes that you could take there. And it works out so good. And if you don't know what I mean by the fourth route, it's basically you can... I'll wait till I give you guys that map and I'll explain what I'm talking about because me I'm playing Bacara right now it wouldn't even make sense so that's what I'm loving about these maps but this map here I love because it has it's so well balanced with mid range to short to even you can even snipe on this map you know I, I like that I like that the level of uh, variety and, and, and variables that they put into the to the situation of the, of the map if that makes any sense because I probably just didn't make any sense to you guys right there but if you caught my drift great thank you to the planet of untamed mind over here <laughs> but you know look at this guy Woo! man it hurt can I say get turned on I don't feel like he got turned on though but look at this right here also specialists can help out a team if like I told you guys before learn what the perks do I hit that guy through the wall and put him on the mini map that's it everybody sees him obviously I took advantage of it because I was there but if you got stuns if you still have stuns while you got your, your, your specialist bonus and you know you got the recon don't be afraid if you know this is gonna be some guy somewhere chuck up some stuns put them on the map you're helping your team out marksman if you see a guy down range I really don't know how marksman is everybody saying this like spotting in battlefield so if you see a guy down here, spot him for the team. I don't know if that puts them on the map or if they can just see him when they look in that direction. I don't know how it works, but specialists can be helpful to your team. And look at this right here. Oh, watch it, buddy. And then watch this. Get the reload. Oh, get turned on. <laughs> anyway. I believe this game's wrapping up. There's only three kills to be gotten. And I think I get them. And uh, my grammar's horrible today. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, pick up this last kill right here. The guy doesn't even see me. Get drop shot. And basically, check out the winning kill cam. I think the final score was 37-7. Uh, Maybe I'm stretching it. But I think it was 37-7. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the Specialist Strike Package. Like, how do you guys run it? What's your setups? Until next time, I'm out. Peace.